Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be comparing quick struts versus naked struts courtesy of Monroe Shocks and Struts. They've sent me some of each so that we can get a direct comparison. Now if you haven't yet checked out my videos on how to install new shock absorbers or how to tell if your shock absorbers are worn out, you may want to check those out first so I will include links in the video description. So if you do end up getting the quick strut or the complete assembly, then there are some things that you're going to want to look for in the assembly. First you want to make sure that you know the whole thing is either painted or powder coated so that you're not going to get any rust on these components. Also you're going to want to look for a strut boot that protects the strut rod and the seal so that you don't get any debris in there that can damage the strut. Now some of these will have a bumper and this is used to prevent damage if the shock absorber does bottom out. Another thing you'll want to look for is a spring isolator and this will prevent any metal to metal contact with this upper mount so that you don't get any noise from the spring. So what are the advantages of going with the quick strut? Well the first thing is it's fast, it's much quicker so you're going to save time because you don't have to disassemble the old strut in order to install it. Also it's safe and a lot more simple than going the naked strut route because you won't have to use a spring compression tool and you won't have to compress that coil spring which could be harmful if you do it incorrectly. And then finally it's complete so you're going to replace all of the components of the strut rather than just the strut itself in case some of the other components are starting to wear. Now the downside of it of course being cost it is going to be a little bit more expensive but I was looking up these on some auto parts stores and it looked like the full assembly strut was around 150 a little under 150 and the naked strut was a little over $100 so about $40 in difference between the two that I saw so you know for the amount of time that you save it certainly could be worth it to go with the quick strut. Now let's say you do decide to go the naked strut route well let's talk about the process in which you would be replacing that strut. So the first thing you're going to need to do is use that spring compression tool to compress the spring on the old strut. Then you're going to remove the top strut rod nut and remove the upper mount assembly on this strut. After that you can remove the strut from the assembly and then you're going to want to remove the strut boot and place that on the new shock as you're going to be reusing this piece. Next you will replace the strut and the upper housing with the new one and then you will decompress the spring and you're good to go and you can mount this assembly back into the car. So the pros and cons of going with the naked strut simply equal and opposite to the advantages and disadvantages of the quick strut. You are going to save some money but in the long run you know you're going to be taking more time and it also is going to be a little bit more complicated of an installation. Now I'll have various related links in the video description. If you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those below. Thanks for watching.